Hi there, my name is Peter Janis, and I'm here from Radial Engineering to tell you guys about the Radial SGI. Uh, the SGI is a two box device. Um, what it allows you to do is run really long guitar cables. And let me kind of explain why that's important. When you typically take the guitar output and go to an amplifier, because the cable is high impedance, high impedance cables are very, very susceptible to noise. So that noise is caused by dimmers, lighting systems, transformers, guitar amplifiers, uh, noises everywhere, cell phones, all of that stuff attacks those cables and high impedance cables are particularly sensitive to noise. So what the SGI basically does, it does, it's called the SGI Studio Guitar Interface. What you do is you plug your guitar in here, then you take a typical XLR cable, kind of like works like kind of like a DI box where you plug the XLR cable in here and then the other end of the cable here into the receive end. So there's two boxes. When you buy it, it comes complete as a set. Okay, and what you do is you run your guitar cable in here, run it out to your amplifier, and the SGI buffers the signal, balances it, transformer isolates it, does all that stuff so that you don't have to worry about noise because now we're running at low impedance, then we change it back to high impedance at the other end. So it's kind of like a DI box on one end and a reamper at the other end. Kind of a weird thing. Now, the other cool thing about it is we've got drag control on this thing, and what that does is it simulates the load as if your guitar were connected directly to your amplifier. So you can actually adjust it so that it sounds natural. So this is a buffering system, it's an isolation thing, it does all that stuff at the same time. And how does it sound? Well it sounds pretty amazing. It's all class A. You've got Clapton, Sting, Santana, Aerosmith, Metallica, just a ton of major, major artists all using this. So I, when I tell you it sounds pretty good, it's certainly good enough for those guys. So I think it'll be good enough for the average player. Um, the, the applications are tremendous. I'm a guitar player, I'm sitting in the recording studio, what I want to do is I want to play guitar uh, on this side of the glass. So in other words, I've got a studio and there's the glass, I want to play guitar, listen to the recording, you know, the, the performance in front of the studio monitors, well now I can run an XLR cable a long way out to the bathroom, to the basement, to the, to the isolation room, wherever it is, have my amp playing on 10 and I can actually hear uh, how it sounds when I move the mic around the room. So that's really cool. So I can adjust the tone and everything else. And as a guitar player, especially if I'm the producer, I get to hear what I'm doing. Uh, on a live stage, the advantages, of course, on especially big, big stages, what happens is that you've got the cable going all over the place. A lot of times, for example, you have a guitarist and he'll run uh, into a wireless system. So here's that's our little wireless system. That'll go to a receiver, so it gets into the receiver and from the receiver it now has to run all the way down the stage to the amplifier or to the pedals and back and all that stuff and that's where the um, SGI is often found also on stages. We make a box called the SGI 44 that actually is a send and receive com combination for pedal boards. So that's really cool, that's what it's used for there. In a church application uh, you might for example want a really cool sound but you don't want the loudness on stage, you want to keep the volume level low. So the SGI can run downstairs to where your amplifiers are or off stage. Uh, these are the kinds of things that professional production today, we really want to control that sound, we want to control the bleed on stage, we want to control noise on stage. The SGI, SGI lets you do that. So it's a really cool uh, little device, it's from Radial Engineering, it's easy to use, it's plug and play, there's power at this end, the other end is completely passive, it's bright yellow so you don't lose the other end, that's the reason we made it yellow in the first place, we thought hey, better make it so someone can find the other end. And um, it's not that expensive, so it's a great little box, um, brought to you from Radial Engineering.